Hello everyone, welcome to the new episode. And today I'm going to start right away, like in the middle of the mine, because there are some, there is some technical stuff I would like to share with you. About the Emerald Door I was talking about last time, that it has uh, the value of uh, four emeralds or you know eight uh, diamonds. I think I'm going to raise uh, every EMC value for uh, ores because that's the default settings. I didn't really understand why that would be like that, but uh, I've noticed that if the ore has a lower value than uh, the you know the mineral, then you could you will be able to create it uh, infinitely from just uh, one you could multiply it infinitely so that's out of the question while giving the emerald or the exact value of the an emerald means that uh, since there are, since there are plenty of ways to multiply your uh, income from a single ore you could use that income like uh, i don't know just even using fortune pickaxe you use it on an emerald ore, get uh, two emeralds. With these, you can create two emerald ores, and so on, and so on, which uh, is uh, once again infinite uh, reproduction of ores of minerals. But if I give the emerald ore a higher value than an emerald, then of course there is no more infinite reproduction of uh, minerals, which is okay, but there's another kind of problem because uh, like now one emerald ore is worth uh, four emeralds okay which means uh, that using uh, the right equipment i can turn uh, one emerald ore in exactly four emeralds for free and that's it uh, this uh, doesn't even consume power doesn't even consume anything that's the real problem free multiplication of ores of minerals and that's not an, a good thing you are supposed to use uh, some kind of machinery at least that uses power and resources to create this it's not supposed to be that easy so my plan is to remove basically every emc value from any ores i am actually going to do this right now so check it out Open to learn, allow cheat sound, start learn one. And I am to, going to take iron ore. Actually, the, I added this value because the iron ore ingot is 256, which means uh, you could turn this into two irons. It does make sense. You can actually already make this with many machines. Except that with the, the proper equipment, you could do this for free. You could double the amount for free. And but still, I don't think this does make any sense at all. So I am just going to remove this right now. Let's show you. Project T set EMC zero. Now, if I type uh, just like it says project, project E, reload MMC, and now this does not have a value anymore. I cannot multiply it, I cannot uh, recycle it. That's it for you. Let's, uh, now let's go with the same for this one, for aluminium, let me check black quartz. Of course, doing this does not prevent me from uh, recycling and uh, regenerating uh, iron ingots. Those are still worth uh, 256 EMC, and uh, every same goes for every other mineral ingot. So I only am removing the value for the ores. They become a non-renewable resources, just uh, like in vanilla Minecraft. It's out, it's out, nothing, okay, that's it, fine. As soon as I get one of Emerald Ore, I'm going to erase uh, that as well. I'm not going to do it now because uh, 
I don't have a silk touch pickaxe and I need to hold the object in my hand in order to change or set its EMC value. As you can see, there's uh, the EMC 130 for this uh, object, for this item. This is because during the development uh, version of this mod pack, I noticed that you could find that, that you used to find that really, really too many of these, like uh, stacks, uh, chests, and chests full of just email crystal. Uh, you will never use that. <laughs> so I said, okay, let since you find so much of it, let's just say something like this. I say something around one stack of this equals one diamond, okay? It's not that much because basically one stack of coal is one diamond in, in this mod pack, so it does make sense. In fact, as you can see, nine of these, nine low purity mag crystal, make one of these items, which is a generic item I decided to add. It's the logo for the Academy Craft mod, but uh, you don't use it for anything else basically, so that's why I decided to use this. And seven of these create one diamond. So seven times nine is 60, 63, which means uh, almost one stack of uh, in my low purity in my crystal creates one diamond. Now, this means that since one diamond is 8000 EMC, calculations, calculations means that uh, one low purity mag crystal is around 130 EMC. Now, since, since this recipe and this recipe were supposed to be removed, I am definitely going to remove this now that uh, I have the EMC conversion that works perfectly. This 130 is, has no more reason to exist. It's supposed to be 128. So instead of 63 image crystal being worth one diamond, now you need more. So they're worth a little bit less, 128. They're supposed, they're supposed to be 128. I also think it's about time I create a tank because this way if I die I don't lose all of my experience. Okay, let's see. Okay, I make this like a cross pattern with the glass panes and the obsidian here. I get two tanks. I'm going to place them here because uh, this is uh, my you know early game XP farm. That's why I'm going to keep it here. So tech stuff, tech stuff. Okay. okay. Now I stand here, and it's going to the expert drain is going to take all of my experience and turn it into a liquid that is going to rest in this tank. I can take this out, move it around, place it here, and right click with an empty hand to get my experience back. Now it's a bit buggy because as you can see I cannot get it because there's just a tiny bit of experience left. Uh, so that's it, as you can see it's 10 millibuckets, so that's not enough. I, but that's this only happens when you place them uh, one next to each other and there's uh, just a few liquid, just a little amount of liquid. If you place them one on top of, of the other then uh, the bottom one never will never have trouble. Now I'm going to keep it like this because I'm not going to use a lot of experience soon. So. And here we have our first enchantment table. As you can see, it's worth quite a lot because uh, it's two diamonds. So if one diamond is 8,000 EMC, it's, uh, this one is 16,000 EMC, plus uh, the value of the book and the obsidian, which isn't much. 
I want to enchant this. I need four levers to do this. Although, yeah, I, I'm not a very f a great fan of efficiency as itself. Uh, if there was unbreaking, I would have preferred. But I need four levers. One, two, three, four. Oh, damn. <laughs> four. Boom. So, yeah, I exactly spent uh, just uh, the levels I needed. If I didn't use that, uh, I would be at like level 20, something like that. Yeah, level 18, let's say. Oh no, I was, I was at level 18 actually. So, I would spend 3 levels, but I will be at level 15, which means uh, those 3 levels uh, would be wasted because the higher your level, the higher is the worth of your level. So basically, losing three levels when you're at level four is cheaper than losing three levels when you're at level 18. That's it. Oh. There's a creeper, which is going away. Of course, it's you know, it's scared of me because of my huge house that shows I am super strong. You know, I have a stone sword which is about to break, but you know, it also means I hit a lot of monsters with that. So of course, it's scared of me. That's why it went away. Well, I'm going to flatten this place around. I'm, I think I'm going to do this off camera because, uh, it, I mean, it will really be boring. I'm going to flatten this area out to make a nice flat space to create a farm for my wheat and maybe sugar canes and so on. So, yeah, see you later. And now it's time to create a nice little place for our little ships. Well, they're not so little, I guess. But still, they've helped me a lot on the first days, so I think they deserve to have a little house. Well, I guess I am actually imprisoning them. I am actually imprisoning them, so that may not be exactly the nicest thing ever. Alright, this is definitely too little. I mean, I'm, I am a scientist, not an evil scientist. I don't want them to be cramped and die for, you know, <laughs> that would be very bad. Now, like, where was your friend? I know there are more ships. Oh yeah, oh yeah, come, come with me. Oh yeah, come with me, guys and girls. I, I cannot recognize you, I'm sorry. Actually, I don't think they are, you know, they are males or females, they're just sheep in Minecraft because <laughs> it works differently. Well, you deserve this prize. Wait, I missed you. Yay, another achievement! And I even got some experience, that's just normal. And two baby ships! Okay, now I don't want to be followed. This is a good start uh, for. Uh, oh, for a ship pen. Ship pen. Ship pen. <laughs> Sounds fun. Okay, I'm going to start it there. Yeah, I'm, I kind of exaggerate because I don't need to store my experience there every time I get some bit of experience. It's just, uh, you know, if I get the habit, uh, I will not forget it to do when, uh, when I really need it. Hmm. Okay, now I just have to wait for that to turn uh, green, uh, 
to see how it looks, but I don't really, I'm not going to do that because I'm going to create a wheat farm over it, so I don't really need to wait for it to turn green, to turn into grass. Did, did you just see that? These are some bugs that often happen, especially because I'm in 112. I I think that could uh, have an impact on the bugs, something like that. Because I remember some of the bugs that existed, that exist in uh, Minecraft 112, like uh, sometimes when you drop into water from a high distance, the water does not uh, prevent you from getting full damage, damage and you die, so I guess uh, so much for uh, the hardcore player who used that trick. That's another, that's a reason because I don't really like playing in hardcore. You may die because of uh, some bugs, uh, glitches and stuff uh, and uh, that's it, you cannot use your word anymore because of uh, some problems with the game not your not you so that's that would be extremely annoying on the other hand uh, when when you die because of your of your fault uh, because it's your fault i mean that's okay one can only accept that it is annoying but it's different if it's not your fault uh, it's more annoying Okay, now fence. I need uh, 39 fences and one gate. So this means I need uh, 26 uh, oak wood planks. And uh, 52 sticks. No, wait. No, I'm confusing the recipe. I needed the, the other way around. 50, 52 awkward planks uh, and uh, 26 uh, sticks. Oh well. Okay, here we go. 39. Perfect. No, you don't go there, you go there. You go there, I can take these. As I said, I don't really like how worms look, so I'm not going to make to place them in my main farm. Placing it this way doesn't really block my exit because I can just move this like this. It's not a large movement, so I can bear with I can bear with it. Now of course <laughs> fence like this is going to be useless, so I'll have to dig uh, this part too. So eventually all of this isn't going to be here, but right now what uh, matters is that the mobs can't go over this fence. Well, I guess the spiders still can, but they're not that big of a that big of a deal. Big of a deal. <laughs> I can't I can't talk. I'm trying. I mean, this kind of uh, videos are also a means for me to exercise my speech in English. So. Hopefully, my pronunciation will get better with time, my vocabulary, because I do understand English easily, in general, but I, I realized I'm not that great with pronunciation. So yeah, next time they say something like, oh yeah, you're very good uh, when you're in school, don't believe them.
they used uh, to tell me about. I, I listened to my young videos, the first uh, episodes, and it, ah, it's horrible. My my pronunciation isn't isn't nice at all. Like, e, I wouldn't. I wouldn't understand that easily what I say. So, if you do, you, well, either I'm getting better or you are very perceptive. Isn't this nice? Okay, I think I'm going to move this over there, hoping uh, they my ship want to escape they are trying to oh well you're you're good to go you went too far okay did you see that did you see apparently you didn't okay what watch watch this is what happens if you try to escape unless i let you escape okay I hate this. Uh, this message, like, why? What's the point? It's too far away. Uh, so what? Oh, no, no, now it's okay. Oh, okay, I guess. That does make sense, I guess, to you. Because I don't get it. Terrain Lighter. From the mod Torchmaster. Which adds uh, a few things, but are, they are very useful. Okay, as you can see, it's quite cheap. Okay, that's it. I am going to use uh, all of these torches eventually, so it's not really a problem. And uh, place. Of course, I need to activate and place fuel. As you see, it already puts this on it. But I don't really need it. And it's placing torches. It goes uh, around, so it's okay. You see? See? It's going to place them down here, I think, as well. Now, here. Of course, uh, if it finds some places where it cannot place torches, it will not. Huh? And it will not consume the torch. So, in the end, I mean find some torches as well. Oh, see? See, there are some down there. Some are getting here. It's trying... It, it tried to place one around here, but it failed, so... Because there is wheat, and you cannot place there. So it skips that and goes on. Okay, I think this is it. There shouldn't be more torches on the way. Yes, it's done. As you can see, it barely consumed the... it consumed not even one stack. This is because it likely had to try... Uh, I see there are plenty of places where it couldn't, because it tries to place torches a bit above and a bit below its level, but it's not like it can go from 256 to 0 to try, no it doesn't, so places like here I don't have a torch, uh, like here of course there's no torch in water, so yeah there's a lot of places here where it failed to place a torch of course, that's normal, but uh, it's still enlightened a lot of the terrain around my house which makes it a lot safer, as you can see. I thought yes, this is not enlightened, so monsters can spawn here, but that's not really a problem. I can fix that later. So, yeah, it's a very, very nice thing. It's not overpowered, like, uh, it does not uh, enlighten everything, and it's not like you're going to use it so much, so I think it's fine. Or if you think it's overpowered, just uh, don't use it. I mean, you're not forced to. I think uh, this is the perfect uh, time to wrap up this episode and say and say bye, because you see. Oh, 
I accidentally ah I didn't want to click on the on the seeds. Okay, but basically, uh, we placed the torches, we lighted the terrain, we made farms. Uh, I think uh, I'm pretty satisfied with this episode. Again, already trampled that, that destroyed the seeds once again. So yeah, I think this is good. I'm going to farm a bit here. I'm going to use a bit of the AFK fishing farm once again because uh, it's very useful to get some more XP levels, uh, which I'm going to instantly turn into experience uh, liquid, liquid experience. I'm going to remove this, and uh, yeah, this is it. We'll meet next time. This is Morgan Geronimo, and uh, I hope you have a good day. The end sequence, this is the end sequence, so yeah, I will write something here next time.